Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So today I am over by the side of my house next to my shed, right next to my Peggy Martin Rose, which I love. She's a climber and she is glorious in the spring, but she really only comes out with one big show in the spring. And then this entire section goes from beautiful to humdrum the rest of the season. Similarly, my house is just right here, this big gray expanse. There's nothing interesting over here, especially with my air conditioner. So I've been working on adding some uh, pots to the garden this season. And this is my biggest area of pots. So I have one little pot here that needs a, a plant, a big pot and a medium pot. You can see mom and I've already planted a few things. So I've planted an unplugged blue salvia here, which ideally would need something ringed around it. Uh, some eucalyptus that I've grown from seed that looks like nothing now, but will eventually be beautiful. Some sweet alyssum that is a white knight from Group of Winners and it was covered in buds, but it needs probably a little haircut and some fertilizer. A Group of Winners pink bubblegum supertunia that looks dead, but I got it. I saved it off the sale rack and she's put out green since I planted her. At this point in the season, we, I start getting uh, plants I've saved from the sales rack. So, you know, they kind of look like nothing right now, but they'll be pretty eventually, and that's fine. They were on sale. So today, we are going to be planting these zinnias that I saved from the sales rack. I think they look just fine, and I think they'll be a really pretty bright pop of color here. A candy cane knockout rose that was also on the clearance rack and has seen better days, but what I did was I deadheaded everything, cut it back. I took out all of the yellow or dying leaves from down below, cleaned her up, and she she will bounce back. And knockouts do great for us here because they can handle the full sun. And they just continuously give us blooms. And the last thing was not a clearance plant, but honestly, she's looked better, so maybe she should have. Uh, but this is a Cajun hibiscus, which I've never heard of before. You can see it still has lots of buds on top, two main stalks, and hibiscus typically bloom for one day and one day only. Um, so I will put up a picture, but this bloom, glorious yesterday. She's a chiffon pink Cajun hibiscus. And as soon as I saw her, I had to have her. I have been wanting one of the ballet slippers, which is very similar, uh, but they get huge, like six to eight feet tall and wide. Whereas this baby only gets four feet tall by two to three feet wide or four feet wide by two to three tall and therefore can go in a pot. So we're going to be putting this guy in this big pot. We're putting my rose in the medium pot and the zinnia. And then we're going to be calling it a day. And of course I'll be giving you updates on how this section goes over the season. But you know, this is the first year with this pots. Sometimes, the pots themselves are the big investment. We're not making a big investment in plants this year other than the few things that will come back. Um, and then we will, we can continue to add other plants in, in subsequent years that might be a little nicer, but our knockout rose should come back. The Cajun hibiscus is a tropical plant. So she will come back in warmer climates, which we are 8B down here in lower Alabama and we are tropical. So honestly, I will probably leave her outside all winter. They are recommended to be brought indoors in the winter if you get too cold. On freezing nights, I will have to come out and either bring her inside or come out and surround her with blankets so she does not freeze. If she freezes, she will die. She cannot handle that. Typically, we only have one or two nights that drop below freezing. Um, so for me, it was worth the risk we don't get cold enough that it will be a huge hassle. I have to come out and protect a lot of plants, a lot of my tropical plants on freezing nights anyway. So adding one more to the mix isn't huge. Um, and we'll just see how she does. If she starts to really struggle even on non-freezing nights, I may hot her up and bring her inside for the winter.
My mom did help me already set all of these plants up to drip all of the pots. So they're already ready for water. We just need to plant them. I do also have my milkweed here, which I had a whole grove of them. This is the only one that came back over winter. I am gonna plant probably two more over there and maybe some more on the left. Ideally, you want five to eight milkweed plants if you're growing them for the monarchs, which I am. There we go. almost bought two of these to go in this pot since it's so big but they were not on clearance I paid $30 for this guy I didn't want to pay 60 
let me get some dirt for this pot. Oh, I can see a hint of that pink peeking through. So if she does, <coughs> excuse me, if she does, I will pop that in the video before it goes up. But I'm very excited about my little group of pots. I may keep adding to her as I find more. I need to take the sticker off of that one. But I'm liking this combo, and I think it's going to be really pretty over the years. So... I'm excited. Thanks for watching y'all. I'm gonna go uh, get cleaned up because we're going to dinner and a movie tonight and I look like, like I've been planning hot things outside. Bye.